Hello, church. I'm Pastor Jeremy Peters of the Court Street United Methodist Church. Today we're continuing a series of devotions that we're calling 22 Questions. Now, this devotional series is a project of the Flint Mission Zone, a coalition of United Methodist congregations and ministries in and around the city of Flint. In this series, we're examining some questions that were important to the beginning and the growth of the Methodist movement, and we're discovering that these questions can still be helpful in our own spiritual growth today. In the 1700s, John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, wrote a list of 22 questions. He encouraged every Methodist to meditate upon these questions every day. The fifth question on John Wesley's list was this, Am I a slave to dress, friends, work, or habits? Let me ask that again. Am I a slave to dress, friends, work, or habits? There is so much going on in this one question that we could easily turn just this question into a whole series of sermons or devotions. As I was trying to decide how to approach this question, I decided to tackle the very first thing that John Wesley mentions. I decided to go back and read some of John Wesley's writings and sermons and see what else John Wesley had to say on the subject of appropriate dress. John Wesley preached more than 40,000 sermons in his 87 years on earth. In his ministry, he thought about and preached about practically every facet of human existence, including entire sermons about the way a Christian ought to dress. And John Wesley had strong opinions about how a Christian should dress, and he had the scripture to back up those opinions. He pointed the early Methodists to 1 Peter chapter 3 where the apostle urges wives not to adorn their bodies with fine clothes and jewelry, but instead to adorn their hearts with a gentle and quiet spirit. John Wesley takes these words that were originally written for the women of the church, and he applies them to every follower of Jesus. In his preaching, John Wesley laments the way in which Methodists followed the fashions and dress according to the expectations of class and society. Just once, he says, I want to stand in front of a Methodist congregation and see that all of the people are dressed as simply as the Quakers. Even better, he says, I want to see Methodists dressed not only simply, but also cheaply because we all know that some people think they're putting one over on God by wearing simple clothes that cost an arm and a leg, and thereby they waste the money that could have been used to feed the hungry and clothe the poor. Wesley also encouraged his Methodist preachers to dress simply. This is the reason why to this day many Methodist preachers prefer to wear a simple black preaching robe, it saves preachers from wasting time worrying about what to wear on Sunday morning. It saves them from vanity and the temptation to spend money on fine clothes in order to impress the congregation. It allows the congregation to focus on the preacher's words and not on the preacher's wardrobe. And that freedom, the freedom to let go of anything that distracts us from God, the freedom to let go of anything that leads us away from God is at the heart of this question that John Wesley is asking today. Wesley wants us to consider how many things and people have a hold of our lives and a piece of our hearts. Do we feel a need to fill our walk-in closets? Is the size of the closet one of the most important considerations in choosing a home? Do we worry that people would treat us differently or respect us less if we were to change the way we dress? Are there people who still occupy our time and our energy even though their words are harmful and they tend to lead us away from God? Are there people in our lives who are jealous of the place that Jesus has in our hearts? 
people who try to push out Jesus in order to make more space for themselves? Are there people who are only still in our lives because we can't imagine our lives without them? And what about our work? Do we immediately feel restless when we finally sit down? Do we laugh when God commands the Israelites to rest and do no work one day each week? Do we think more of ourselves or less of others because of the kind of work they do? Do we do things every week and every day that are harmful to our souls simply out of habit? Are there things that we couldn't imagine giving up even if Jesus himself were to ask? How many masters are we serving, Wesley asks us. How many people and things have got a hold on our hearts? Have we allowed our minds to become so stunted and enslaved that we can't imagine a life with different clothing, different friends, different habits, different work? And if so, if we can't imagine a different way of living, then are we ready to ask Jesus for help in getting ourselves free? Let's pray. God of liberation and release, you set your people free from slavery in the land of Egypt. Set us free as well. Set us free to love. Set us free to serve. Set us free to grow and change. Through Jesus, who said, Do not worry about what you will eat or what you will wear, we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for spending some time with us today. You can find a new devotion right here at the same time next week. Until then, keep on asking questions.